Hello to everybody, I'm Simon again and uh, this is the second video about the elements and here I will explain uh, Euclid's axioms. Axioms are sentences that are even more evident than postulates and uh, they are not demonstrated like just like the postulates and um, they don't concern just geometry but also other branches of mathematics. So let's begin. Axiom number one says that if two things are equal to another thing, they will be equal to each other. Using our algebra, we can say that if A is equal to C and B is equal to C, then a will be equal to B. Okay? Very evident one. Axiom number two says that if we sum equal things to equal things, we get equal things. Using again our algebra, if A is equal to C and B is equal to D, then A plus B will be equal to C plus D. Mm -hmm. Well, axiom number three, just like the second one, says that if A is equal to C and B is equal to D, then a minus b will be equal to c minus d. Of course, Euclid uh, don't uh, write the third axiom in this way because uh, now I'm using um, algebra. He just says that if we subtract same things to same things, the remainder will be equal to each other. The remainders will be equal to each other. Axiom number four says that if A is less than C and B is equal to D, then A plus B will be less than C plus D. Again with uh, R algebra. That should be obvious. Axiom number five is a quite non-standard axiom because uh, it's not an independent one. It can be demonstrated from the second one. Uh, in fact, uh, very probably, the fifth axiom isn't um, uh, an Euclid's one, but uh, someone else uh, wrote it after Euclid. It says that if A is equal to B, then to A, the double of A, will be equal to the double of B. If two things are equal to each other, the double of two things will equal to each other. The sixth one isn't an independent one as well, because it can be demonstrated from the third one. If A is equal to B, then one half A will be equal to one half b. Probably it's not uh, from Euclid himself. The axiom number seven is a very important one in geometry. It says that, and it's, it is uh, in fact independent from, uh, from the others. It says that if I can, if 
I have two things and I can lay one thing upon the other thing, then the two things will be equal. Uh, with things, uh, Euclid can mean uh, uh, two angles or two triangles or two lines and so on. I can uh, make um, a drawing. If I have this line and uh, this line and if I can lay one line upon the other line the two lines will be equal to each other axiom number 8 is a very famous one probably wait probably one of the most famous one and it says that um, the whole thing is more than one part of it than a part of it if a is equal to b plus c then b will be less than a and c will be less than a Wait, sorry but i have no i don't have a very professional uh, uh, webcam the important thing is to understand it axiom number nine the last one says that two lines cannot cover a surface I mean that if I have two lines there will be no surface between them never uh, maybe with three lines I can make a triangle and there will be a surface inside the three lines inside two lines there will be no surfaces okay and that's all with axiom